Hey guys, so I'm a couple weeks late to this video. I said I wanted to do a Q&A a bit ago, but life has been super crazy and hectic, so I'm just finally getting around to doing it now. But um, I compiled some questions that a lot of people have asked me, and I thought I would just answer them here, and then just a couple other questions that certain people have asked me that I thought I would address. So basically, to get started, um, you know, one of the main questions I get asked um, is where am I from and where do I currently live? So I'm originally from Reno, Nevada, and then I moved out to Hawaii for a few years, and then now I currently live in downtown Seattle. But um, I moved out of my condo that I was living in, um, and now I'm staying in a friend's apartment, so thank you to that friend for letting me stay here. Um, I'm basically couch surfing until I leave for the PCT. But I am in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, and um, I can't imagine living anywhere else, at least not right now. Uh, next is, what do I do for a living? So I am a mechanical engineer, and I work for the Department of Defense. Right now, I am currently working on our nuclear submarine fleet. So, that's exciting. Um, I can't really tell you anything else, or else I'll have to kill you. Just kidding, it's not that cool. Um, another question I'm getting a lot is, am I quitting my job to hike the PCT, or what's going on with that? So, somehow I lucked out, and I actually will be able to have my job when I come back. So they're giving me a six month sabbatical and I am just so thankful because when I was pondering like hiking this trail about um, 10 months ago or so, the first person I talked to was my boss and I just like threw the idea out there like, hey, I'm interested in maybe hiking the Pacific Crest Trail, like what do you think about that? And you know, he was pretty on board with it, but you know, it wasn't really even his decision. And he told me he had to go higher up and they were the ones that were going to have to approve it. And thankfully the man who's like in charge of that thinks that hiking and through hiking and that whole ordeal and everything in between is awesome. And he wants to actually section hike the whole uh, PCT one day. And so I totally had that on my side because he thought it was extremely cool that I was wanting to do this. So he gave me the stamp of approval to take six months off, obviously with no pay, but that my job will be waiting for me when I return. And I know that not everyone is that lucky, and so I'm definitely not trying to take this for granted. I, I mean, it's just so thankful for that. But yes, I will still have my job, and yeah, that just solidified my plans to really hike the PCT. All right, so a question from Karen W. is, what have I done regarding diet eating habits leading up to the trail and will I try to keep that up on the trail? So um, if you watched one of my other videos, past videos, I'll link it below. Um, I was doing this like workout uh, program and just eating super well and everything but then I had my back surgery. I had that hernia in my back and I've since then I'm still like in recovery mode. I haven't been eating super well. I mean I, I try to eat pretty healthy, but I'm not like eating as clean as I was before. But on the trail, I really, really, really want to try to eat as fresh as food as possible. I know that's not always going to be the case just because the nature of the trail, you have to eat a lot of dehydrated food and you know things that aren't going to just go bad after a couple days. But I really am going to try to carry as much fresh fruit and vegetables as possible until I have to, you know, really eat like the dehydrated stuff um, but to be honest I'm winging most of this if you can't tell and so uh, I'm just gonna try to figure it out on the trail see what feels good to my body and just try to give it what it wants because I have no idea what it's gonna be like to be hiking you know 20 miles a day you know consistently so thanks for the question Karen um, I asked I guess when is my start date and am I going northbound or southbound and I'm starting right in the middle of April, and I'm actually going uh, Nobo, so northbound. So I'll be starting at the um, California-Mexico border and heading up north and until hopefully I get to Canada. 
How is my post-surgery recovery going? So like I said, I had surgery on my back. I had a hernia in there. Um, I made another video about that update if you're interested. And my recovery is going well. Um, I feel good now as like when I'm walking and sitting because before it was still even uncomfortable to do those things. But I am, I can definitely still feel it when I'm like trying to lift things. I did recently move and so I had to catch myself trying to like lift boxes that were a bit too heavy for me, you know, because of my surgery. And I could definitely feel it burning and pulling and all of these things. I do push myself too hard and that's not smart. So I've really been trying to take care of it so that I'm healthy enough to start the trail and finish the trail. But um, I think my recovery is going well. I feel great. I'm hoping that in the next week or so I can try to start doing more stretching and just getting used to like bending my back and turning and all of that. Uh, the doctors told me six weeks of no weights and that seems really long. I don't feel like I'm going to need that long but um, yeah I'm just going to try to slowly like work some weights and stretching into my daily life and see how that goes. But so far so good. I think um, I think I'll be ready to go when I start my hike and my main concern right now is just how my pack is going to be sitting on my incision area but I, like I said I still have a, you know, another month or so to go. Uh, am I getting nervous or am I getting excited? And the answer to both of those is yes. I, I think me moving out of my condo was one of those moments that really like instilled in me that I'm actually doing this. And uh, yeah, I freaked out a little bit and I'm nervous even right now talking about it. But I'm also so excited. And what excites me is also what I'm nervous about and vice versa. And I think that's basically just the unknown. I have no idea what I'm walking into. And, but I think that's a really exciting. And um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing very specific that I'm nervous about or anything, but I'm super excited about just the people I'm going to meet and feeling free and just what I'm going to be seeing. And I don't know, just, you know, learning a lot of things about myself on the way and just having this amazing experience, like regardless of what happens. So I'm sure my anxiety and nervousness will kick in a bit more as, you know, my start date comes nearer. But right now I'm just like, I'm so stoked. Like, I just, let's do this, you know? And the final question, probably the best one that I'm gonna talk about tonight is from Kevin L. And there was a lot of thought put into this. He says, for all real numbers B and C, such that the product of C and three is B, what expression represents the sum of C and three in terms of B? And the answer is Bumblebee Tuna. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. Um, you know, make sure to subscribe. I'll be posting a lot more videos as, you know, I start the trail. But yeah, um, make sure to just comment, you know, if you have any other questions or anything like that. And yeah, you guys, I can't wait to get started. So I hope to see you guys along my journey as well and hopefully connect with all of you one day in some way. Anyway, thanks again, you guys, and have a great night. Bye.